With so much software available in the short-term rental industry these days, it's increasingly difficult to keep up to date with what's on the market and to determine whether it's a maybe or a must-have for you and your business. So meet one provider each week in a short interview learning what they do and what they offer. So if you have around 15 minutes to spare, it could prove to be a very good investment to stick around. So let's see who and what is out there, one by one, with me, Deborah Larby, also known as the Guest Inspector. Hi, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Tech Explained with the Guest Inspector. In terms of tech and gadgets these days, we have been inundated with software and devices that can do numerous things, from guest registration to check-ins, signing contracts, remote locks, motion and noise sensors, and the rest. But today, I'm learning about a company with a short name, but whose list of features is long. And I'm talking long. Today, I'm chatting with Federica, who will explain all the features of Viki. Hello, Federica. How are you? Hello. I'm fine. Thank you very much for your interview. Oh, my so, pleasure. Thank, thank you for coming along. <laughs> now, Glad to um, meet you. Yeah. Now, we're going to launch straight into it. Uh, can you tell me in one sentence, what does Viki do? Yes. So we solve a huge problem, keyless entry. So we basically give the possibility to the property manager to not deliver the keys to each client at any hour, anywhere where they have all the properties. They just need to tap on the smartphone and open the doors. Mm -hmm. So we basically solve one of the biggest issues of the property managers, saving time, saving money, and having a very nice experience for the guests. Mm -hmm. Now, I have had a look at your product and the feature, the list of features is long. So instead of saying, as a property manager, what do I do to join up with Vicky? I'm going to start off with, this is the list of features. And if you can explain to us briefly what everything does or how it works. So you look after guest registration straight yeah. after a booking. So you're obviously integrated with PMS. So as soon as sure. that booking comes through, you take over, right? Exactly, exactly. Okay. So we basically integrate with the most important PMS. We are integrated also with booking.com and Airbnb. So if they don't have a PMS, they can also receive directly the reservation from the most important OTAs. Mm -hmm. And then if they don't even add that one, they can insert the reservation manually. The main the main thing is that we receive the reservation on our software and starting from there, we start talking via email with the client, asking for documents, payments, contracts, whatever the property might need before their arrival. Mm. So you deal with the, the guest ID verification and sending the documents to the police? Yes, we do that in Italy because yeah. we are an Italian company yeah. Yeah. and also in Spain. Yeah. Uh, for example, in the UK, um, it's not requested, so we yeah. don't send the documents to the police. But what we do is that we actually receive the documents, yeah. but it's the property manager that actually says, okay, the clients can get in. Uh -huh. So it's the property manager that gives the permission that the documents are okay. Yeah. Okay. So then after that, there is the check-in. You obviously, uh, there is a code that's generated and you look after the arrival instructions for the guest. Yes. So basically once they've done the online check-in, if requested, we directly send an email to the client with a temporary link. That links automatically goes to two buttons, three buttons upon the property that we were talking about to open the doors so the clients are going to see actually one button for the building one button for the main door one button for the room store and they just need to tap on it and open the doors very mm -hmm. simply mm -hmm. they can even have codes they are still temporary upon their stay but it depends on how the client wants to open the doors so both with a smartphone or with a code oh right so it's up to the guest to decide how they want to do it Yes, exactly. Okay. We, we give possibilities to different kind of clients. Yeah, because my fear has always been with this, you know, smartphone um, uh, with the door locks, is what happens if the battery dies? There has to be an override. Yeah. So can you, can you actually use the both or you have to pick one or the other? 
No, you can actually use both. So oh, if excellent. your telephone is a run of, run of the battery or you have any other issues uh, with the tapping on the bottom, you can always tap the code yes. on the lock. And since yes. it's temporary, it's very safe, meaning yes. that after the checkout, it's no longer available. Yeah, okay. And you actually can provide the locks too. Yes. Oh. Exactly. <laughs> okay, so we so have the option of 360 degrees service. So we yeah. provide not only the software, but also all the other and devices. Yeah. And our main point is that our main hub, it's ours. We produce yeah. it. Right. But then anything that comes around it, like, for example, locks or yeah. uh, detectors or yeah. um, whatever, you know, yeah. what yeah. you're designing. Yeah. It's around our hub that it's right. produced by us. Right. But in terms of the hardware for the locks, you can provide that too. Great. Yes. Exactly. Okay. So once the guest is inside, another thing you offer is air conditioning control. Now, yes. how, how does that exactly work? Very simple. It's not like many cars pocket that we can usually found in the hotels that cost yeah. a lot of money, are very complicated to do. Yeah. So we, it's very simple. We actually have one device that it's a, a ER control that actually catch the, you know, the the red infrared infrared lights. Yeah. You know. So yeah. it just catch this and on the other side we have the movement detector yeah so with these two devices if the client isn't inside the room for the i mean the property can decide for how much long it's not inside room mm. then it automatically says to the er to turn off the air conditioning uh -huh. so it's very simple you just need to position them inside the room and it's done Right. No more, you know, no more works inside, no more, no other costs, just that. Yes. Right. So usually the guests just leave the aircon on 24-7 and your uh, device will notice that the people aren't in there and will cut the aircon off. Yes, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> Good. Okay. Now you also have a smart wall switch. What is that? Yeah. So it works quite similar to the one for the air conditioning. It, um, I mean, every detector can work upon what the client really needs. Mm -hmm. Usually what we do is always the movement. So it's always who is inside or if there is inside someone inside the room. So yeah. even in this case, if there's no one, we give also this, this smart switch. And actually, if it says there's no one in the room, it would automatically turn off all the lights from the switch. But something very important is that even if there is someone inside the room, but they didn't notice, you can still use the switch as a normal one. Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. you'll still be able to use the lights, to use the air conditioning, whatever you, I mean, you're doing in the room. Yeah. So as a, as a property manager, if I want to, let's say I'm, I'm in a hot climate and I, I'm thinking, oh, poor guests, I want them to be able to have the air con on through the night. I can actually say, even if there's no movement between these hours, sure. it's okay to be on. Okay. Of course. The property manager will set all the rules upon the setup. And once they decided the rules, Vicky will do anything. Yeah. So it will control the air conditioning, the lights, the movement, the opening of the window, doors, water yeah. leaks, smoke, etc., etc. Yeah, yeah. Well, this is basically the list that I'm going through. So you've also got a smart plug. And uh, from what I read, it's like if you have a fan in there or something like that. And again, if there's no motion, it will cut it off. Yeah, um, sure. That's great. You also look after the smoke detectors. So you, yeah. you actually provide another piece of hardware device. Yeah. Amazing. So with the door and window opening sensors, is this, I mean, to me, that sounds like a burglar alarm. But how does that work in terms of what Vicky does? It's not about more an alarm. It's more like, for example, if the air conditioning is on and if also the window is open, it will ah. say, okay, there's a window open. So it will turn off the air conditioning. Uh -huh. Or for example, if you know that the clients are leaving, you can check if you have any windows or door open in order to say, okay, for example, to the housekeeping, please close them all because they left it open. 
Mm-hmm. So yeah. there are many uses of our devices. That's yeah. why I was saying it's upon the decision of the property manager to say, okay, I want to do that or that. And we can really tailor made our solution. Yeah. Now, what about if my guest is checking out, they've left the air conditioning on automatically. I mean, obviously it'll detect that there's no motion. It will, will it will yeah. turn off. Yeah, that's great. Yes. Yeah. Good, good, good. Uh, so the motion sensor works uh, in, in, uh, combined with for all the other uh, uh, features. So yeah. you need the motion sensor. The noise sensor is another feature, but obviously it's not going to cut the aircon off. But that would be a good way to fit, finish a party. <laughs> Turn the aircon yeah, off and make exactly. it too hot. And, and something very important is that the noise detector for us, it's we give it for free. It's inside our hub, so everyone that just have the hub installed inside the property will have also the noise detector inside it. So you can we can monitor decibels, not the sound, of course, mm-hmm. and we can control if it's too loud. We we'll send a notification to say, okay, it's too much loud in, in here, and you can you know take action about that. Yes, yes, okay. So you notify the manager to look after it, or do you notify yeah. the guest? We notify the manager, but we are also working to notify the guests. Yeah. Okay. Lovely. So uh, a smart thermostat and the thermostatic valve. So is this that once the temperature is reached, the aircon can't be, the temperature can't be changed, played with? Yes, I mean, it, it depends on how you want to work with it. Usually we use that for the heating, of course, and setting that if there is no one to turn off the heating or to take a maximum temperature that the room can reach with the, you know, around the, for the, for the temperature. Yeah. So basically we give the, the possibility to control remotely for the property, but also for the clients staying there the temperature inside it and reduce energy consumption because we know that especially during winter mm-hmm. or for the air condition during summer, the temperature can be really high or low. And mm-hmm. for this, the bills are very, very high. So mm-hmm. we really want to help the property manager to cut off all the expenses that they have and to save their time in doing that remotely. Mm. Now, I have always been very curious about how air conditioning can be cut off or, or things like that. Now. As a property manager, I have a wall-mounted air conditioning unit. What do you give me to put on that unit that will stop that unit? And where do I put it? How does that work? So it's very it's very simple because you just need to plug in. It's a, it's just you know a little detector, and you yeah. plug in into into the switch. Yeah. And then it will just be need to be next a plug next to the air conditioning, nothing yeah. more. Yeah. And that's it. We will just copy the red lights yeah. and it will work. Very simple. I think that our main asset is that the installation can be done completely by themselves and you don't need extra work or extra expensive breaking walls or mm-hmm. whatever to do that. It just needs a positioning configuration with our main app and software and it will work. Mm-hmm. So what you were saying before about the red light detector, so that is what determines that the aircon is on. Yes. It's the red light. Aha, right. It's not actually, yes. you know, plug. Okay, okay. Red light detector. Right. Okay. Uh, no, oh, water leak. Okay, this is a new sensor. I haven't heard of a water leak sensor before. Can you explain yes, that? Yes, I mean, it's, um, it's to help, you know, in controlling if there are many even some water leaks for example for the shower or for the sink or what i mean whatever can happen inside the room just you know notify the property that there is a water leaks and go over and control if anything is okay especially yeah. if there is no one inside you for a long time i yeah. think it's it's very important yeah oh i actually have a uh, a great example that that could use this so in a property of mine Uh, there was construction and rubble went down the drain. And when it starts being clogged up with hair from the guests, it starts coming up, but it starts coming up through the floor waste, not the shower. And so this would be a perfect time because guests don't usually spot it until it's leaked out into the the lounge room. Oh, my God. 
Yes, I mean, we really want to have property managers to really soften their daily work and to yeah. lighten up and also give the possibility to, you know, get into technologies. I mean, we are in the future, we are trying different technologies to, you know, have a different kind of hospitality that not necessarily means that there is no human connection anymore, but mm -hmm. just, you know, smarter things to have smarter um, uh, hospitality uh, yeah. places, rooms yeah. and uh, performance. Yeah. So let's go back to my usual question. I'm a property manager and I'm coming to Vicky. Now, you mentioned about a hub. So basically, I'm going to sign up with you and I'm going to get a hub. Can you just explain the sign up with you and what do I get and what do I what do I get? Sure. A list of all, a menu of all those features. Yes. So what Vicky does is that we actually give you the possibility to have an all-in-one solution with a main hub that controls smart locks, all the detectors, uh, watch leaks, smokes, etc. upon your needs. So you don't need to buy every device you just need to subscribe to our software to have the main app that it's included in the monthly fee and then upon your needs you can purchase all the devices that you need so for example if you just need the locks you're not gonna necessarily have to buy all the detectors or vice versa depending on your needs or you can have an all-in-one and still pay the same monthly fee but then what will, will change is just the cost of the devices. So since, of course, for a monthly fee, we have a contract that lasts one year. So you basically need to subscribe to our system for one year. And then you purchase all the rest of the devices. And after one year, if you decided you don't want to be longer with us, you can, you know, release the contract. And then you still have all the devices for you and your property but yeah. usually of course our client since they understand how useful is our system they just keep going with the contract mm -hmm. and especially because in the software you have plenty of features not only to control the detectors to control the accesses but also everything about the online checking so it's very rare to find an all-in-one solution that actually provides so many solves so many issues at the same time for a very honest uh, price, I would say. Yeah, yeah. So yes, you know, I almost forgot about all of the pre-arrival stuff that you deal with. But so when I when I get this hub, the hub, I can start off with either smart locks or the remote locks, and then I get the noise detector as well. Or I get the, I want to monitor the air conditioning and I get the noise as well. So I can just pick one and have the yes. hub. And then later on, once I go, wow, Vicky's fantastic, I want another device, then I can keep plugging yes, in more devices, exactly. right? Fantastic. Yes, exactly. Oh, wow. Exactly. Now, something else just to throw on top of it all is that you do upselling too. So you, see, you sell additional services and experiences. Now, how does that work? So it's a digital concierge. So we give the possibility to the property manager to do extra profit by selling their services like breakfast, uh, extra cleaning, uh, parking, tools, whatever they you know, want to propose to their clients directly from our online check-in. So once the client has done the check-in, it will see all the list of extra services and directly purchase it from our system. Mm -hmm. We don't take the payments because they are directly um, sent to the property manager mm -hmm. and they, will, they can increase it, all their profits on top of the stay of the clients. Mm -hmm. And I think it's very useful. That's why I always says that maybe there are a lot of operators in our sectors they do different things, but we are probably one of the, of the least that uh, to do everything in mm. one. Mm. That's amazing. <laughs> so the thing uh, with the services and the experiences, does a property manager put all of that information on their dashboard that feeds into? Yeah. Okay. Exactly. Okay, great. Exactly. Okay. So yeah. on the dashboard, they can complete all the useful information about the apartments. Uh, they can personalize, customize the emails that the clients will receive. They We do white label, for example. So big clients can even put their 
their logos, changing their colors, features, you know, to personalize and give it a, a let's say, a personal look to to the dashboard that the clients are going to see. Yeah. And also all the extra services. So it can really be ta tailor made for them. Yeah. And they can that completely control everything by just their, their phone or the, the dashboard. Yeah. Yes, because that's usually one of my questions about the white labeling. So basically everything is branded for the pro with the property manager's logo and branding, etc. Very, very if, cool. if needed, yes, of course. We are we have huge clients with a lot of properties um, that actually have white labels, so they change the logo, they change the, you know, the, the feature inside yeah, it. Yeah. And they have a or, or even the email that the client receives is very tailor made. So yeah. we try to do our best to really help all the hotels owners, uh, managers, and also, of course, property managers to really have the best solution, only one solution for them and their clients. I think you hit the nail on the head. It is an all in one, all in one solution. Yeah. 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 I, well, yeah. One, of my, one of my usual questions is why use your product? So basically, I think that you should use our product because we save time, we save money, in, in, a certain, in a certain way, I would say we are green because we try to reduce energy consumption and mm. also try to save money on the bills. And we have the staff to go through, you know, all the steps before the arrival of the guests. We simply make lighten all the workload of the staff. So mm. I think that we, you used to, you, you, you'll need to, um, to choose us because we really want to provide a service that can help the property managers' mm -hmm. lives. Mm -hmm. And I, I love the green aspect too, because I, I think it is really important to be able to fix the temperature range. So, you know, yes. people don't go crazy. I went to my house once and the, the tenants had the temperature at 30. <laughs> uh, and to turn it off when they're not there or, you know, yes. to set it as though it's on all night if, if, the, if the manager wants it. But... Yeah, I think that's a very, very, uh, very good thing. Um, who is your target audience? What sort of size company? How many properties? So usually, I mean, all the hosts from one apartment to a thousand apartment, hotel, big hotels, small hotels, uh, vacation rentals, all the kind of really um, properties that can find useful to use our service, but also co-working spaces, uh, parkings. I mean, whoever really wants and needs a remote access controls mm -hmm. inside the property or inside the, the building. We have many co-working spaces or offices or different kind of situation that really needs our system and it's not that's not really developed. So it's quite anyone that need this kind of service can be our client. And we work worldwide because we just need an internet connection and then everything will be up. So, mm. Well, I was just going to say, where is your target audience? So basically it is a global audience. Yeah, exactly. Right. I right. mean, for the moment we are developing in Europe, but our service can really be installed anywhere that has an internet connection. So yeah. it's very simple. Yeah. So in terms of pricing, just to sign up and to, to start off with the hub and maybe one feature, just a ballpark mm -hmm. range, what, what sort of price are we looking at? So, for example, for one vacation rental, just one will be 20 euro per mm -hmm. month mm -hmm. for a, year, a yearly contract. Mm -hmm. And then let's say that you would like to have a smart lock in it, it will cost just in addition, the purchase of 90 euro of locks. Mm -hmm. So not a very huge expenses, but of course it depends on how many apartments, rooms yes. that you have. Yeah. If a hundred, I mean, a hundred vacation rentals, monthly fee will be different from uh, just one apartment vacation yes. rental. Yeah. But let's say that it goes from 20 euro to five euro per yeah. month upon the kind of property that you have. Yeah, and, and that 20 euro or that, that price range, does that cover any number of bookings? I mean, if I have yes. 10 bookings, it's still yes. the same. 
Okay. Exactly. Yeah. Um, unlimited number of bookings uh, accesses. I mean, we don't really want to, um, you know, to press the property for how many bookings it's going to have and then the prices will increase. We mm. just say, this is the price. If you have a fully booked property or not, it will be the same. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I forgot to ask earlier on about the onboarding. How quick is it to onboard with you? I come to you, I have my listings. Do I just give you the URLs? Or I just connect you with through the PMS and I just go, okay, connect to Vicky and, and I'm, I'm in. I mean, what Vicky does really depends on, on your needs. So if you just need to sign up for the online checking, so for only the software, it would be immediate. After signing the contract, everything would already be on. But of course, if you need to install a smart lock or you need detectors, it will be longer, of course, up upon the compatibility of our system to yours. So usually it's two weeks, two, three weeks mm -hmm. upon uh, you know, the, the current situation. Yeah. We are having a lot of requests right now. So, I mean, of course, we, we are very happy about it. So, of course, it depends also on the amount of requests that we have. But usually, let's say two, three weeks for also the hardware part. Yeah, yeah, that sounds great. Now, as you mentioned earlier, it is a one-year contract. So yes. do you have like one month free to give it a go? Or I suppose, you know, with all the hardware involved with some of the, some of the um, plans or whatever, it might be a bit difficult. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it still depends on how uh, how many properties do you have. Um, usually, we have a one-year contract. Yeah. And even for big property managers, what we suggest is to install it in one apartment as a test for one year. Try it, like, you know, every day. And then really understand if it's working for them or not. Because I think that sometimes it takes a little bit of time to get used to it. You know, it's mm -hmm. still a very smart technology. Mm -hmm. So, usually, what our clients do is they test in one apartment or few rooms if they have old hotels mm. and then when they understand it it's okay with for them they just you know move mm. on and continue with it mm. Mm. okay well that's come to the end of my uh, usual questions was there anything else that you would like to add did i forget to ask anything um, no, um, I think that it's what, I mean, Vicky really does um, everything that you probably might need to have inside your property. So we have three services. You just need to decide which one uh, is the best for you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, look, I will put uh, all the links in the, in the description below. And if anyone has any questions for Federica or Vicky, please pop them in the comment box below. Federica, it's been really great learning about Vicky. Honestly, there's so many things to, to know about. It's been really great learning about it all. Thank you very much for your interview. It was a really pleasure. Glad to meet you. And you. Thank you, Federica. Bye-bye. Ciao, Thank ciao. Bye-bye. <laughs> ciao.